Good morning guys, Automotive Inc. here. So I have kind of a little treat today. Came in and I've been driving big truck the last several days. So uh, uh, that stuff's pretty boring, pretty slow to go, but did go up over the, uh, the Ike mess again. Nonetheless, so today uh, I wanted to go over, I'm in a 23 Ram and I had an opportunity to check out these new mirrors. So this is gonna be kind of a just quick walkthrough of those new mirrors. All right, guys, so just real quick, these are basically the uh, the buttons here on that. So we have our traditional left and right, and then we have our mirror fold. And then if you've used to a RAM, this is exactly the same button setup we've had for years. But then we have these extra four up here. And uh, so it's kind of nice. It's it's labeled really easy, easy to grab too. So the Chevy and Ford like to put these buttons kind of up on the dash. Uh, so you have your rear spotter lamp, and then your front spotter lamp if you get the upgraded ones with those lamps. Um, some of the mirrors, I think like on the trades when they're going to get these new mirrors, but um, they may not have these features. Uh, this is a big horn, so big horn and up probably will get it, especially if you order that. And then uh, Ram does give you the ability to change your lower convex mirror. And then they do have an extend, which I've kind of banged on Ram because these mirrors, I, they don't have as much surface area as the, uh, the Chevy or the Ford, uh, especially on the convex mirror. But what they have done is um, those the ability to extend them um, which is really good. I thought that that's kind of where they were set, um, but nonetheless, let's take a look at that. All right, so we got our power fold feature, which is nice because I was backing in and out, and you can see that lower spotter light right there. Turn that on and off. And then the other one, this other front light down here, is actually the mirror, the, the one that's on the front. So very kind of cool there to have those. Um, on my Chevy, there's not really a distinctive button to, to go through those the Ford if you get the zone lighting it does have all that so once we put the those back out again that lower convex is a lot smaller than both the other competitors <clears throat> but it is useful and to be honest with you, it is more service area than the old mirrors of the Rams and those were kind of just a Ram thing anyway I didn't mind the old mirrors I, I more mirror the better but uh, um, <clears throat> it is kind of nice that they, they upgraded them and they are getting a little bit better looking and appeasing the eye, especially how they mounted it. I think that's nice. So then we go down here, we're gonna push this lower convex one, Then that basically you'll still need to hit your left or your right button then to activate which one you're going to be adjusting. <clears throat> and then right there, you can kind of turn them. For me, once I set those, I really never remove them again. Um, and I have several videos out there on how you want to do it, but you kind of want to stand back by your back, uh, you know, your left rear fender, um, back by the bumper. And if you can see yourself in it, then I think that's a good place to start. And then you can tweak it from there. Um, but that's a bunch of you get in and out. But once you kind of set it, um, especially if they have memory, you'll be good to go there. And then that'd be the same for the right. You'd need to distinctively push that. But if you just push this button and, and this, this lights off on the left and right, it's not going to do anything. Um, and then you do have your power fold. So what you'll do is you'll put that. So you push that top button right there. Again, then you just, then you can use your, your left and your right and you extend them and they do get out there a ways. So bravo on that. I, I do like that a lot. Um, so again, pretty cool mirrors. Um, but again, the, the more basic you are, the more manual features you're going to have. Um, and again, for me, the, the power convex is neat to set them initially because sometimes, you know, somebody's got to lean out the passenger side and do it while you're adjusting it. Or like I said, stand back by your rear fender to get a starting point and then have somebody tweak it from there. Um, but overall, these mirrors are very, very nice. Again, not as big as the other guys, but they do a really, really good job. All right, guys, I have a uh, review coming up on this in, in just a short time. So go down there in the corner and make sure you hit that button so you can uh, subscribe and enjoy more of my channel. And we'll see you on the next one.